Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Streetwear Talk, the series where we talk about the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, we just cover streetwear in general. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Supreme North Face collaboration that is releasing in week 16 of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Yes, guys, this Thursday, the 10th of December 2020, we are getting our second North Face collaboration releasing in the Fall Winter 2020 season. For week 16, we are getting a faux fur North Face collaboration. It is going to be pretty crazy. We're going to be covering all the pieces that are releasing in this collaboration, my thoughts and opinions on it, and well, I mean, I just gave you the release details, so I guess we're covering the release details as well. Now, this is quite interesting because I think that this one already, I haven't fully dived into it, so this is a pretty premature opinion, but I think that this collaboration is already better than the S logo stuff, because I thought the S logo stuff that released a couple weeks ago, uh, what was it, was it week 12 or week 13? One of them, that was not it. This stuff, however, this is more it. How we're gonna cover this whole collection though, and all the release details, if there is any, you know, hidden release details or anything like that, or how we're gonna cover my thoughts and opinions on every piece is by using a Hype Beast article today, which as always will be linked down below if you guys wanna have a read of it. Let's head on over there now to that article and start covering all the pieces, all my thoughts and opinions, and all the release details to do with the second North Face collaboration that is releasing in week 16 of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Here we are guys. Now as always, down in the description section below if you want to read this article, but we'll have a read now and see what all the release details are for this collaboration and then we'll cover all the images which include the editorial and the individual pieces themselves. Supreme X The North Face Fall Winter 2020 Faux Fur Collection coming in fur, uh, furry and fuzzy red, green and black color options. Following its team up with Antihero, which was interesting to say the least, Supreme has returned to reveal its latest collaboration with frequent collaborator The North Face, which now is actually the, um, how do I put it, I guess family brand, brother brand to Supreme, as they're all owned by the same conglomerate. Accompanying this week's Fall Winter 2020 Week 16 drop, the collaboration is centered around a faux fur range made exclusively for Supreme. This time around the duo, uh, this time around the duo has put together a cold weather ready uh, range comprised of three styles that come in furry and fuzzy red, green, black color options. Leading the collaboration is a take on the signature Nupsy jacket outfitted with 700 fill down, insulation and wind wall lining to combat the testing winter season in bold fashion. Matching the jacket is a backpack that continues the faux fur construction of all the collaboration with the durable 840D ballistic nylon boot and a convenient everyday carry waist bag. All styles come marked with the usual The North Face and Supreme branding found on their previous collaborations. The Supreme X The North Face Fall Winter 2020 Faux Fur Collection will see a global release via the Streetwear's Imprints website December 10th and in the United, uh, sorry, in the United States and December 12th in Japan. So it's releasing on the Saturday for Japan. There we go guys, that is all the release details. There was a little bit of a hidden release detail there which was the Japanese release date. But there we go, it is releasing this week, this Thursday. We'll also obviously go over it again when we do the drop list video for week 16, but it will be interesting. So let's dive into these images now and have a look at all the pieces releasing. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the faux fur collection that is releasing this week. To start off this photo shoot or this collection of photos, we have the editorial, so models wearing the actual photos, uh, sorry, mo models wearing the actual clothing in photos. We have showcased to us here the red faux fur nupsy that we can see. Uh, it looks very furry. The photo is a little bit hard to get an idea of what it actually looks like on person though, because it is shot at night, so it does look quite different to how it's going to look in the daytime. I like the style of how he's wearing it with the gray hoodie underneath. Very classic Supreme photo shoot there. Next, we have the black one showcase to us, which I can imagine is going to be incredibly popular as people are really getting around faux fur in 2020 and especially black faux fur jackets. And when does the North Face ever release faux fur jackets, right? Worn with a black hoodie and some um, tartan pants for the beanie as well. Nice little outfit there. 
Next, we get a zoomed in photo of the branding on the side there. It looks to be embroidered on it. It looks like a very, very solid piece there. Next, we get the green one showcased to us. So it's more of like an emerald green than it is a, you know, for example, like the lime green was, like the Boltoro jacket that was released in the S collection. It's a very nice deep green. We can see the dual branding on the sides here, like with all of the jackets. It looks very nice. Personally, I don't know how which one I would feel the most for. Probably the black one because it'd be the easiest to wear. But I almost consider getting the green one as well. Like that is pretty cool. Puffer jackets normally aren't my things. Jackets with a lot of insulation aren't really my thing. So yeah, it's not speaking to me strongly. But this collection so far, I'm enjoying way more than the S logo stuff. Next, we get the waist bag showcased to us, uh, slinged over the shoulder here with just a standard washed hoodie and jeans, nothing too crazy there. Here we get the backpack showcased to us, that looks absolutely wild. Uh, I can imagine a lot of people going for this stuff because who doesn't want a furry backpack, right? Actually me, I don't want a furry backpack at all. <laughs> but it's pretty crazy, it's a pretty wild backpack there. And now we get, for the rest of the 11 images that we have, we get the pieces showcased to us by themselves. So here we have the 700 fill, you can see it down here, 700 fill down jacket, uh, the Nupsy here, it is just absolutely wild. You can still see the padded insulation sticking, well, showing where it is on the actual piece and then just faux fur over the top of it. We get the back of the jacket showcased to us there with the North Face written on it. We get the green one showcased to us in better lighting. It is a lot lighter than I initially thought. The um, flash photography in the uh, editorial done at night made it seem a lot darker, but it looks to be a lot lighter than I first initially thought it was. Pretty solid. I'm enjoying it. The red one is actually a lot nicer color as well now that it's being showcased in the light. I actually thought it was going to be quite a bright red. It still looks like it will be quite bright. You will look like a big red furry monster wearing this, but it's not as bright as I first thought. There's the branding on the back. There's all three jackets showcased to us. I gotta say, look, when I think of Supreme North Face collaborations, especially over the past 10 years, I think of North Face jackets being done in wacky patterns or with wacky materials, or a bit of both, a wacky pattern with wacky materials. I really like this collection because it fits exactly what I envision a Supreme North Face collaboration to be, and I felt like the S logo collection really let me down in that regard because it was just a Supreme motif thrown on the front and back of the jackets. It was kind of boring, it wasn't too crazy, it wasn't too wild. There was no unique use of materials, it was just your standard North Face pieces with a big S on them, which, yeah, is a Supreme motif, but it doesn't feel that unique. It's kind of like, eh whatever this one however i'm actually really enjoying i think it's really cool it's sad to see that it looks to be smaller than the s logo collection i kind of wish this was a little bit bigger um but we'll take what we can get i suppose it is the second collaboration i'm happy that we're even getting a second collaboration this season uh there's the back of the jackets showcased there here's the backpack not a huge fan of the backpacks. I'm not a huge backpack guy these days. I'm more of a duffel bag kind of guy. It would, be, it would have been interesting to see a furry duffel bag actually done by the brand. That would have been pretty wild. It looks like this is 3M as it was lit up in the nighttime photography there. So that makes sense. I was kind of confused on why it was white and the rest of the detailing was black. But must be 3M there. Pretty wild backpacks there. I feel like the black is going to be the most popular with the red and green being the least popular colors. Just because of the versatility the black has here. Moving on, we have the hand, uh, well, sorry, the waist bags is more appropriate. Little fuzzy waist bags. I can see this being popular, in, uh, especially with women. I can feel like this whole capsule is going to be a lot more popular in uh, women and women's streetwear styles than it is men's. That's not to say that men can't wear this. Hell, I will rock the Nupsy if someone said, hey, style this and you can have it for free. But... I could definitely see this being a more of a hit with the, with the ladies, that's totally fine. It is still a solid capsule regardless. Uh, for me though, if you had to say, Daniel, you have to get one piece, what's the piece you're going to get? I am going to say it's going to be the Black Nupsy if I was to get anything from this. I won't be going for anything from this, not that I can because I'm Australian, but you know, if I was to go for something on the secondary market, it would be the Black Nupsy, but I'm not interested in picking anything up. Just because it's not really my style. Not because I'm against faux fur or I don't like faux fur jackets. I literally bought a palace one a couple weeks ago and I've been looking at a kith one for a while and a couple other ones here and there. So it's not that I don't like faux fur, it's just that 
this style of faux fur jackets isn't for me. I'd prefer uh, either a varsity style or a uh, just a, a, a collared um, faux fur jacket. Not necessarily a Nupsy North Face styled one, but maybe it is your preference here. Maybe you really, really like this North Face collaboration and all the pieces in it. I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on the second North Face collaboration that we're getting this fall winter 2020 season. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you wish it was bigger or do you think this is a good size for a North Face collaboration? Do you like this more than the S logo uh, North Face collaboration that they released a couple weeks ago? I want to hear everything you got to say about it down in that comment section below. Well guys, that is it. That is all the release details, all the official images, and all my thoughts and opinions on the Supreme North Face Faux Fur Fall Winter 2020 collection. Uh, I want to hear what you have to say about it down in that comment section below guys, and are you going to be picking any of these pieces up when the drop actually happens or after the drop? Are you a fan of any of the pieces? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme releases, upcoming Supreme collaborations, and upcoming weeks for Supreme seasons, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel. As by the end of December, we are trying to aim for a new milestone of 2,800 subscribers. We need less than 10 subscribers to do it, guys. So tell some mates, tell some of your family, tell them to subscribe today, share the channel around on all the social medias, and hopefully we can hit 2,800 subscribers before the end of December. But that's everything I really got to say about the Supreme North Face collaboration that is releasing in week 16, guys. So until the next stream video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.